a very good morning to all the students of my class today we will going to understand about chapter number 4 of civics understanding laws as we have already discussed in the live class so once again i'm going to repeat the few topics with the additional one so let's begin with when we understand about why do we need a parliament and we have seen that the bill is proposed and then it goes for the signature of the president so that it can become a law and here the definition follows a bill is a proposal for a new law or a change to an existing one if it is passed by the parliament then it becomes a law or act of parliament now in ancient india there were innumerable and often overlapping local laws hum gin nahi sakte aur ek dusre se overlap karne wale local laws hua karte the different communities enjoy different degrees of autonomy in, in administering these laws among their own aur alag alag community alag alag tarike ke laws ko enjoy kya karti thi and i told you ki lower classes ke sath harsh result hota tha now Now we will talk about the punishment that two person receive for the same crime were right ab kya aap bol rahe hain that punishment jo logo ko milti thi ek hi tarike ke crime ko wo alag alag hoti thi on the basis of caste backgrounds with lower caste they being more harsh and they penalized also so i hope you understand that the treatment is different on the basis of their caste backgrounds now In colonial period, the system of law began to further evolve during the colonial period. It was the British colonialist who introduced the rule of law in India. Now, if I ask who has introduced the rule of law in India, your answer should be British colonialist. Okay, okay. Moving on to the next slide. Historians have disputed this claim on several grounds two of which are सबसे पहला जो हिस्टोरियंस ने जिस इन क्लेम्स के ऊपर अपना सवाल उठाया दैट इज कॉलोनियल लॉ वॉज अर्बिट्री आई टोल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ अर्बिट्री दैट इज अगेंस्ट द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एंड ओपिनियंस ऑफ द सिटीजन्स ऑफ इंडिया the indian nationalist played a prominent role prominent means a very important role in the development of the legal sphere in british india there were many nationalists who has played or even gave up their life for india and they have played the important role especially in the development of the legal sphere in british india like i gave you the example of ishwar chandra vidya sagar moving on to the next Now we will talk about the Sedition Act. This act came in 1870. Any person protesting or criticizing the British government could be arrested without due trial. Koi bhi person agar protest karta hai ya criticize karta hai against the British government, then usko arrest kar liya jata hai without any warrant or without saying anything. That means without due trial so what is the definition of this act that sedition act of 1870 has said now by the end of the 19th century indian legal profession started emerging and demanding respect in the colonial court now i told you that there were some legal professionals who want the same respect as the britishers having and for that they demand this respect in the colonial court that means in the court of the britishers by the end of the 19th century by this indian judges started playing bigger roles in decision making after studying a lot they became the judges and they have their own important role to play in the decision making Indian plays a major role in the evolution of the rule of law especially in the colonial period i hope you are able to get that judges had made their own important role plus they evolved the rule of law during the colonial period now laws cannot discriminate between persons on the basis of their caste gender or religion 
कोई भी कानून किसी से किसी भी तरीके का डिस्क्रिमिनेशन नहीं कर सकता कोई भेदभाव नहीं कर सकता बिटवीन पर्सन स्पेशली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट जेंडर और रिलीजन वाई बिकॉज ऑल लॉज अप्लाई इक्वली टू ऑल सिटीजन ऑफ द कंट्री सबके लिए सभी तरीके के कानून बिल्कुल बराबर हैं for the citizens of the country that's why it says that laws apply to all one and all no one is above the law neither a government official nor a wealthy person nor even the president of the country is above the law it is clearly mentioned now not even no high official working at the higher state no one is above the law no government official it doesn't matter if you are having a lot of wealth a lot of money you cannot be above the law nor even the president any crime or any violation of law has a specific punishment and there is a process through which the guilt of the person has to be established कोई भी गुना या किसी भी तरीके का वायलेशन दैट मीन्स आप कोई नियम को तोड़ते हैं देन यू विल गेट अ स्पेसिफिक पनिशमेंट फॉर दैट एंड देयर इज अ प्रोसेस एंड ईच एंड एवरी टाइम देयर इज अ प्रोसेस फॉर इंक्वायरी थ्रू विच द गिल्ट ऑफ द पर्सन हैज़ टू बी स्टेब्लिश दैट मीन्स द गिल्ट ऑफ द पर्सन हैज़ टू बी प्रूव दैट सो एंड सो पर्सन हैज कमिटेड सो एंड सो क्राइम राइट ओके नेक्स्ट इज making new laws we know that parliament has a very important role in making the laws for our country an important role of parliament is to be sensitive to the problems faced by the people now what do you mean by that parliament has to be sensitive for the problems that is faced by the common people and that means parliament has to feel and consider the problems of the general people as well they cannot make laws just like this they have to be more sensitive towards us now from establishing the need for a new law to its being passed at every stage of the process the voice of the citizen is a crucial element what do you mean by this is when we are going to establish or we are going to make a new law for every stage the voice the voice of us is very important that means they have to cater the needs of the citizens now a very important topic that is domestic violence act 2005 and uh, it is as from the name it's saying that it is all about the violence in the domestic area that means the household area to protect women from domestic violence and to ensure them residential and monetary benefits that means this is the overall about the domestic violence but is it so so let's begin what is this protection of women from domestic violence act all about it is an act of the parliament of india that is enacted to protect women from domestic violence is liye banaye hamare liye bana women's ke liye bana so that we can be protect from the domestic violence but what do you mean by domestic violence okay we will understand this a bit later but before that i want to tell you that it was brought into force by the indian government on 26th october 2006 now what do you mean by this domestic violence domestic violence refers to the injury or harm or threat of injury or harm caused by an adult male usually the husband against his wife kaun sa violence ho raha hai kaun si injury ho rahi hai kya khatra hai kya harm ho raha hai jo hame कौन कर रहा है एक एडल्ट मेल कर रहा है फैमिली का जो जनरली कौन होते हैं हस्बैंड और किसके ऊपर कर रहे होते हैं अगेंस्ट हज वाइफ सो दिस इज डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस इंजरी कैसे हो सकती है मे बी कॉज बाय फिजिकली बीटिंग अप कि आपको फिजिकल मारा हो और बाय इमोशनली अब्यूजिंग हर इमोशनली उसको वीक कर दिया हो अब्यूज ऑफ द वुमेन कैन ऑल्सो इंक्लूड other types like verbal violence sexual violence and economic abuse also now i will make you understand what do i mean by saying these kinds of uh, violence so that you are also able to recognize 
now as you can see physical violence include beating slapping hitting bitting kicking punching pushing shoving means show off the head the hairs causing bodily injury or pain in any other manner ye sabhi wo tarike hain physical violence ke jisse aap ek women ko jo hai aap violence create kar sakte hain now i am talking about economic violence what do you mean by economic ki aap usse kya kar de not providing money for maintaining you or your children na aapko de na aapke bachcho ke liye de na aapko khana de rehne ke liye jagah de na medicines de stopping you from carrying on your employment aapko kaam nahi karne de disturbing you in carrying on your employment not allowing you to take up an employment taking away your salary aapki salary le le aur baaki sabhi tarike now for this ye sab hone ki wajah se the protection of women from domestic violence act 2005 is very important sabse pehle kya karta hai it recognizes the right of women to live in a shared household sabse pehle to ye humko ye pehchan dilwata hai ki ye hamara haq hai this is the right of women that we have to live in a shared household jahan aap apne husband ke sath rehte hain that is a shared household now women can get a protection order against any further violence aur agar aapke sang aur kuch bura hota hai to aapko uske upar protection mil sake third women can get monetary relief to meet their expenses including medical cost और इस एक्ट के तहत आपको मॉनेटरी मींस मनी टर्म्स में भी आपको रिलीफ मिलता है जैसे कि आपके खुद के मेडिकल के खर्चे जो होते हैं आपको दवाइयाँ लेनी है अपने लिए अपने बच्चों के लिए या किसी और तरीके के आपके एक्सपेंसेस सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी हैव टू स्टॉप वायलेंस अगेंस्ट वुमेन द पावर ऑफ चेंज इज इन आर हैंड्स ऑनली so i hope all are able to understand thank you so much everyone that's all for today